<laughs> Hello and welcome to Larry's Topics. I was watching a video literally recently and it reminded me about something. A franchise that was pretty much killed in its infancy. You know? And the reason that is is because one one person they claim um, it's the Dr. Seuss franchise. Remember, Dick King and Ron Howard came out with the live action, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and then there was the the I think there's only two in the franchise. And, but it was killed right away. And people wondering why, you know, because Disney did it and they're doing a killing. And well, it's because of one movie. One movie killed this franchise. And it's the live action Dr. Seuss franchise. And the reason that is, is, be, well, you, I'm pretty sure we've all seen Ron Howard's How the Grinch Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. And it did quite well. It made quite a bit of money. It was quite popular. If you haven't seen it, you should. And what, you know, but from what I gather, a lot of people have seen it, if not most. And it is well, I, I don't, I don't know if a lot of people hated it, but quite a few enjoyed it, and that. So it's obviously quite popular since its inception. It's been <sighs> become like a holiday staple, just like the actual "How the Grinch Stole Christmas." Well, the second movie in the live action. Dr. Seuss movies. Which is the last one from what I gather. I don't think there is any others. But you're wondering if you're not a huge follower of the short-lived live action movies. And it sad is because it is the most iconic character of Dr. Seuss's. I mean, it's so iconic. He's the mascot for Dr. Seuss. Every book he has, you see a picture of him stamped in the corner with his striped white and red hat that's really tall. And that is, of course, the famous Cat in the Hat. Yes, there was a live action movie. I don't know if you've seen it. If you haven't, you should. And stop watching this video because there will most likely be... Well, I don't think there'll be spoilers, but I want you to, you know, if you've seen it one time uh, or haven't seen it, see it one time as just a regular watcher and then see it again as if you were critiquing it, in other words. And it's actually the movie that my, I'm not blaming him as much as the media did, but I'm pretty sure he's to blame, they say. Well, I, I don't believe, but this is what they're saying. And it's Mike Myers killed the Dr. Seuss's live action franchise. Why? Because the movie, how do I put it without sounding mean? It offended the family, the, the, the do, family of Dr. Seuss. All his re relatives and that were offended. And basically they were saying that if he, Dr. Seuss were to watch the movie, he'd be offended and he would have probably freaked out. And they put the blame mostly on Mike Myers 
because of the simple fact um, Jim Carrey does it, and I hear Mike Myers does it, and I know a lot of other people, especially comedian actors, do it. And improvised lines. And I've heard multiple times that Mike Myers improvises too. Well, I've seen the movie and there's some stuff that just like shouldn't have been in the movie. Had no purpose in the movie. It was just wrong. And they say it was a lot of the improvised jokes Mike Myers made that upset and offended Dr. Seuss's family. And having said that, watching the movie, and I don't know who directed it offhand, but I'm assuming the writers and the director and that, from what I've seen, I guess you could say they strayed from the script some and put some jokes in there that just didn't need to be there. And they ruined the storyline. They made it really, I'm not being mean, but they made it really uh, dumb. And a lot of people would use the defense. Well, it was probably because they were trying to do like Austin Powers, the Austin Powers trilogy, which is a comedy. But the comedy, comedic part is that a lot of people will say Austin Powers is a is so such a stupid movie it's funny it's so stupid it's funny that's what i heard multiple people say that's why they love it so much because it's so stupid it's funny and i'm i watched the cat in the hat after hearing people's complaints and his family's complaints and i'm sorry to say yeah, there's a lot of stuff that didn't need to be in there. Total waste of time. Total... St I'm sorry. I don't know what the people were thinking when they made that. And it must have been offensive enough that Dr. Seuss's family says, no, no more. You are not going to tarnish our family's name and reputation with garbage like this. Um... Okay, there is going to be some spoilers because I'm going to give examples. Like the whole... Uh, mm, you can make cupcakes out of every anything. And they go, anything. And he says, anything. And Cat in the Hat's playing the one uh, annoying guy that's selling the product. I can't remember his name offhand, but... The point where it goes, it, it gets pretty dark really quick. Where he literally, you know, it's supposed to be, it's the cat in a hat supposed to be portraying this guy, whatever. You know, it's part of his magic, whatnot. But where he says, he, he, I can't remember, but he says, I'll kill you. If you don't knock it off, I'll kill you. And the guy goes on and he's like, I mean it, literally. I'll kill you and make it look like an ac a bloody accident. And that, well, that didn't need to be in there. The whole cat in a hat cutting off part of his tail didn't need to be in there because that was just stupid. The whole sideline little joke of them having to talk to his lawyers, that was stupid. Didn't need to be in there. They took a lot of stuff and put it in there that didn't need to be in there. And uh, frankly, they ruined it. I, I, I'll admit the one, there is one joke that's hilarious in the movie. And that's where the cat in the hat is trying to hide at the kid's birthday party and disguises himself as a pinata. And the one kid comes up with the huge bat and just whacks him right in the crotch. 
And then it shows him sitting in a swing dress as a female cat swinging. Yeah, that was a little funny. But other than that, it was a horrible movie. It shouldn't have been done. What they did with it shouldn't have been done. Uh, Alec Baldwin, he pl it wasn't his fault because he, he was just working with what they gave him. But the stuff they did... With his characters, the whole sideline story, there was no need for it. It totally drifted away from the story. Um, thing 1 and Thing 2 were awesome. I loved them. They were off the walls, just like in the book. But there's just too much stuff they put in there. Too many jokes that didn't need to be. And that's why it, it failed miserably. Um, the hippie cat in the hat with the giant pen. Yeah, that didn't need to be in there. The whole subplot about the lock being hooked to the dog's collar didn't need to be there. All that stuff didn't need to be in it. They should have stuck more to the story. And then, you know, went with the destroying of the house, you know, more so. And they probably could have saved it, but they went overboard with it. They took it to a point where. For the most part, I f a lot of people find the movie repulsive. A stupid waste of time, and people hate the fact that they had even seen it. And as big as they made it out to be, it was a huge flop. And it was because of that, and because they were offended by Mike Myers' improvisation, improv comedy, and that his family were like, no, that's it, no more. You're not doing this to our family. And so that's why the franchise died. It was smothered. It was forced down. And it was all because of Mike Myers, the cat in the hat. A lot of the stuff they put into it, they didn't need to do. I mean, it never comes across that, what is it? Roger and Sally, I think. I know the daughter's name is Sally. But her and her brother, it doesn't... There's no need for them to do what they did with the brother. And they didn't need to do what they did with her. They, they just... They put too much into it. The mom's job crap was not worth it. The boss that... The whole germaphobic, handshaking boss was a complete waste. They took a story, a beloved child story, and turned it into crap. There was no need for it at all. But I digress. Watch it. Decide for yourself if you haven't already. Stay well. Stay healthy. It's that time of year where you're usually close with the ones you love, but because of the pandemic and that, nobody's really wanting to go see their families and chance making them sick. So stay home if you can. And Merry Christmas and God bless. Bye.